Hey everyone, it's your girl Lita Blonde High here, and this is the recap for USA versus Japan in the She Believes Cup. Um, USA get the first dub. Um, <laughs> it started off, I mean, really quickly, but let's let's get the starting lineup. Uh, USA started with, uh, of course, Nair in the back. We had Mighty Gurma with uh, D Davidson. We have uh, Jenna, and also we had. Uh, Emily Fox. In the midfield, we got to see uh, Sam Coffey with uh, Jaden Shaw and the great Haran. And then up top, we had uh, Trinity Rodman, um, Niles Swanson, welcome back, and, and the one and only Alex Morgan. So, <clears throat> with that being said, this was the lineup for USA against Japan. And I was saying in the earlier, um, you know, some of the commentaries that I did, you know, preparing for the Shiba Lee's Cup. Uh, Japan were kind of a team we actually haven't got to see. We, we, we already watched Japan. We already watched Brazil. We already watched Canada in the Gold Cup. So we kind of had an idea of uh, what we could be uh, seeing. USA, what we could be seeing. Japan were the only team that we hadn't seen, I think, in this, this year, right? Um, but Japan were the only team to beat the World Cup champions, right? And this match, unfortunately, even though Japan started off <laughs> amazingly, it like, was like a uh, less than 30-second minute goal. Uh, it was amazing, right? It was amazing. Um, yes, but they made... Yes, they scored the goal in less than 30 seconds, right? Really nothing Nair could do. It was just like boom immediately and this is similar how like i said similar to how they scored against spain very very lethal first shot on target was a goal just like damn incredible and um if the japanese can could have played better this match aka better passing this was honestly the worst passing performance i've ever seen japan play in my entire existence uh because they gave the ball away chiefly no pressure passing it out of bounds it wasn't it wasn't the best japan team but <clears throat> they still managed to score a goal right just already um in usa thankfully i mean jane shaw was on fire and honestly i have to say night uh jenna um coffee jane shaw course uh rodman and swanson even morgan they all had stellar games i i feel like this game was really but for for me the best game i really i think jenna really really showed a lot more of herself uh in this game in she was a lot better than emily fox that's for sure a lot better than emily fox uh she was more active um and like both we both ladies have talented wing players are playing in front of playing in front of uh, Rodman, playing in front of, uh, I mean, behind Rodman, behind Swanson. And Swanson, yeah, she looked great as well. It's so good to see Mal back. Um, Jane Shaw once again. I think they saw the five five goals in five USA matches, five goals. The girl's on fire. And I think I was thinking about it because I was watching the game live on Twitch um, with everyone. And I think, honestly, this was like, I, I, if I was Alex Morgan, I'm like, yo, this is the best this is my best front front line because they're just as quick as Alex and and I feel I mean even quicker. You're yeah, even quicker and just in general the way that you kinda how you kinda saw how they played, like everyone could get to the ball. Like all the balls that were needed to be won in the midfield, usually Jade Shaw was gonna win it or Sam Coffey was gonna win it. Any balls that could be Mouse Swanson could have dropped back, Alex could have dropped back, Rodman could have got dropped back. Super fast Team USA, super fast. Everyone should be fearful of, of what's to happen with Team USA because it, it, we're, we're starting to see uh, glimpses of of the threat that they're going to become. Um, and I think the Olympics, maybe Emma's job is to harness more of that, to bring more of that without, uh, from within out. And uh, I think USA can get on the podium if they do their job. If they do their job. I'm not saying win gold USA. I just said y'all y'all have the potential to get on the podium because of all the teams that are not featured in this Olympics, unfortunately. 
But if you want to beat Spain, you're going to have to be better. I think Spain probably, once again, are the team to beat. We'll see if Germany say, hold on, Germany, France, you know, if France is your opportunity to get on the podium too, France. Australia's there too, but we don't even know what's going on. I mean, Australia could do something. We'll see. Anyways, uh, Canada, Brazil, probably like, oh, well, hold on now. Look, we are featured as well. So, but the She Believes Cup, USA have won this She Believes Cup like four years in a row, which is wild. But with that being said, Jaden Shaw's goal was amazing. Was amazing. Who set her up? So what happened was Sam Coffey, she jumped into the passing lane, oh, and she ended up dribbling quick towards, uh, of course, the goal. And right at the last minute, she dropped the dime to Jaden Shaw. And Jaden Shaw hit it with her right foot, right? In the back of the net. No cap. It looked like it kind of took a deflection on the way through, but uh, it was a great goal for USA. And Jaden Shaw, man, she's doing her thing. It's so nice to have. Like, unfortunately, there's no Rose Lavelle. So uh, in this match, um, Shaw allow Shaw and Coffee allowed Haran to kind of be more free. It's similar to how Leo, uh, how she plays in Lyon, where you have uh, Van de Donk or Demides allowing Haran to be more free. And even look, Jane, like Haran plays with should be playing with De Bernay when they play in the middle. But it's a similar archetype, different archetypes to Shaw, but it's a similar archetype that I think does help. Haran in the middle. Haran won't have to have support. She and, and here's the thing with Shaw and Coffee, it's a it's a perfect combination. I'm so happy Coffee's finally getting her stripes, yo. Cause she who does she pass to? She passes to Sophia Smith. You know what I'm saying? She she gets to pass to that girl, leading assist leader. She gets to pass to her. So we know how important she is to. And I'm just really happy she she had a fabulous game. She had a fabulous game. And, um, you know, Swanson should have had a goal. Unfortunately, she didn't, but she could have had a goal. Uh, I think it was cleared off the line. Um, but it was like 2-2 going into the halftime, right, at the locker room. And, um, unfortunately, Casey Kruger, who was it? Casey Kruger, did she get to come on? Who got hurt? Germa. Germa. Shout out to Germa. She got hurt. She's been playing a lot of minutes. A lot of minutes, as we know. She's been playing a lot of minutes. Um, with North Carolina, North Carolina, with San Diego Wave, in the um, in the Gold Cup, and she had to get sit down. So hopefully she's all right, because it's very beginning. It's the early, well, it's just beginning the She Believes Cup, and you know, end of the season is just beginning. So hopefully Grandma is able to uh, you know get get back and get back into things. She probably just needs some rest. Uh, but besides that, uh, Casey Kruger came in for her. Um, <clears throat> With that being right, Casey Kruger was able to come up to her. But yeah, shout out to Grandma. Hopefully, she's speedy recovery. Uh, we did get to see uh, Sophia Smith. She was practically it, there. Was a lot of players I did want to see uh, for USA, uh, Macario, and everybody. She got like Macario. Some of them got like you know twelve minutes, a couple minutes here. I imagine maybe they'll get a start in the I don't know because Brazil and Canada they're gonna be tough contests and all both of them are gonna want revenge because they both had to take an L <laughs> to USA uh, in the cup in the uh, gold cup. So we did get to see uh, Sophia Smith draw a penalty, and uh, you know they were very mad. The pundies so were we about the um, the VAR. And how long it was taking him to to go ahead and look at the monitor? Hey, bro, look. First of all, just go to the monitor immediately. Like, if if you're here, if you're like standing thirty seconds, trying to figure it, trying to figure it out, be like, all right, we're just going to the monitor. There's no point in waiting any longer because you're just adding hella hella additional time, which is not needed, right? Um, but yes, the great Haran uh, ends up bearing the penalty for Team USA once again, and th this is how they go ahead two one. Japan never, after the first goal, to me, the whole game, they never posed a threat. They never created opportunities uh, to score, in my opinion. Uh, USA were played played the ball in front of the majority of the match. So I wasn't, I wasn't disappointed. I actually, this, I felt like this was a really good USA team. Um, to go down like so early, it's always, um, usually it's always, it's always enough time to score when they go down so early. It's always enough time. So that's how I felt. I never felt any anything that Japan... And Japan just weren't strong enough because of their passing. It was not proper. And, you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> but anyways, y'all, this, this is making sure and quick. 
short, quick, short and sweet. USA 2, Japan 1 in the Shiva Leafs Cup. And I'm going to see you on the next one, all right? This is... <laughs>